What's up everyone, Dallas Green here. Thanks for popping into my channel, Cooking with Dallas Green. Today we're talking chicken and waffles. That's right, the ultimate sweet and savory dish that is guaranteed to be a tummy pleaser. Its origin started in the 1930s in Harlem, New York, where I am proudly born and raised. So without further ado, I present to you my chicken and waffle. <music> plastic ziplock add two scoops of peach iced tea mix and a quarter cup of kosher salt pour in two cups of hot water and dissolve followed by two cups of cold water and set aside to cool once cool add your chicken I'm using chicken thighs but you can use your favorite part just know cooking times will vary let's get as much air out of the bag as possible seal it up pop it in the fridge anywhere from 30 minutes to overnight in a small pot melt one stick of butter and set aside for our waffle batter Speaking of, let's get to the batter. Add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour to a mixing bowl. Then we add one tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one quarter cup of sugar. Whisk to combine. Now let's work on our wet ingredients. In a separate bowl, add one and a half cup of whole milk, two large eggs, one teaspoon of pure vanilla. Whisk carefully to combine. Now, let's add our wet ingredients to our dry. Adding half at a time so we won't burn our batter, in baking terms, you know. Whisk until smooth. Now let's add the butter we melted earlier. Again, half at a time to incorporate. Once everything is mixed well, your batter should look like this. See those ribbons of batter? We want that to hold up in our waffle iron. We can't have messy waffles. Now, let's work on our dredge for our chicken. Two cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of all-purpose seasoning. If you don't have that, two tablespoons of kosher salt will work. And the key, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If a teaspoon is too much for you, dial it back. But you need some cayenne to balance out the flavor of the chicken. Close the bag, and this is where you're gonna shake it like a Polaroid picture. I use a plastic bag so I can show you how the seasonings get incorporated. Now, let's add our chicken. Don't worry about the wetness, it will help our flour to adhere to the chicken. Now this time, let's shake our tambourines. Once coated, lay the chicken on a tray to rest. This is the most important part of frying chicken. You have to let your chicken rest after you dredged it. At least 10 minutes. You don't want your flour coming off once it hits the oil. While the chicken rests, let's get our oil hot. Now that our oil's hot, slowly lay the chicken skin side down. Fry for about four to six minutes depending on the size of your chicken thighs. After four to six minutes, go ahead and flip your chicken. That's the money right there, that beautiful crispy golden skin. While the chicken goes for another six minutes, let's get our waffles down. In a hot waffle iron, spray it down with some nonstick spray. Go ahead and add your batter. I use an ice cream scoop because I like to get a uniform, rustic, and homemade look. While our waffles are going, let's check back on our chicken. Mm, looks good. Let's take them out and drain them on a paper towel to rest. Back to our waffles. Ooh, look how beautiful. Let's cut up some fresh fruit for garnish. Now let's plate this all up. Let's lay some waffles in the center. Let's add our big piece of chicken in the middle. We'll add one more piece on the left side and another piece here on the right. Now let's add our strawberries. Oh yeah, it's coming together. Let's sprinkle some chopped parsley to give this dish some color. And of course, we have to add some powdered sugar. You can't have chicken and waffles without powdered sugar. And saving the best part for last, some warm maple syrup. And there you have it. 
chicken and waffles. There you have it, my classic chicken and waffle recipe. Wasn't that fun? If you like this video, hit the like button below. And for more recipes, tips, and hacks, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Dallas Green, and I'll see you next time. Hey.